Proverbs chapter 25 These are also proverbs of Solomon recorded in the time of Hezekiah king of Judah The glory of God is in hiding secrets and the glory of the king in revealing them As high as the skies as deep as the earth such is the heart of kings remove the impurity from silver and it will become a vessel in the hands of the silversmith remove the wicked from the king's presence and he will affirm his power through justice do not boast before the king or put yourself among the great it would be better to be invited come up here than to be humiliated after having seen the prince do not be too hasty in accusing your neighbor for what would happen to you should he confound you defend your case against your neighbor but do not reveal the secret of another lest he overhear it and despise you and your reputation be lost an opportune word is like golden apples encased in silver a gold ring or an ornament of fine gold such is the wise man's rebuke to a responsive person the trustworthy messenger is like the coolness of snow at harvest time to him who sends him he revives the soul of his master clouds and wind but no rain such is the one who promises but does not fulfill with a little patience you will persuade the judge a soft tongue can break bones if you find honey eat enough but not too much lest you bring it up again go rarely to your neighbor's house lest he tire of you and grow to hate you a mace a sword a keen arrow such is the one who lies about his neighbor a decaying tooth a lame foot such is the trust put in the ungodly on the day of trouble singing songs to a grieving person is like taking off your cloak in frosty weather or pouring vinegar into a wound if your enemy is hungry give him something to eat if thirsty something to drink thus you pile up red hot coals on his head and yahweh will reward you as the north wind brings the rain so the gossiping tongue leaves angry faces better the corner of your barn to live in than a house shared with a whimsical woman good news from a distant country is like cool water to your dry throat a churning river or a polluted spring is like the virtuous man who trembles before the evil doer it is not good to eat too much honey and even less good to be greedy for honors the man who cannot contain his anger is like an open city without defenses proverbs chapter 26 Honors do not suit the fool any more than snow in summer and rain at harvest the sparrow escapes the swallow flies off so the motiveless curse will have no effect a whip for the horse a bridle for the donkey a stick for the backs of fools do not answer the stupidity of fools lest you become like them answer the stupidity of the fool lest he consider himself intelligent he who sends messages by a fool is cutting his own feet like the unsteady legs of a lame man such is a proverb in the mouth of fools honoring a fool is like tying a stone in a sling like a thorn branch in a drunkard's hands such is a proverb in the mouth of fools like an archer wounding all passers by so is he who employs a fool the fool reverts to his stupidity just as a dog returns to his vomit 
see that man who thinks himself wise there is more hope for a fool there is a lion in the street the lazy man says a lion in the square the door turns on its hinges and the lazy man on his bed the idler dips his hand in the dish but is too tired to lift it to his mouth the idler considers himself wiser than many people who answer tactfully interfering in the disputes of others is like grabbing a passing dog by the tail as a madman hurls flaming deadly arrows so does the one who lies to his friend and then says it was just a joke for lack of wood the fire goes out for want of a gossiper the quarrel dies down charcoal on hot coals wood on a fire and a quarrelsome man for stirring up disputes the words of the gossiper are delicious mouthfuls which go right down to the bottom of the stomach like silver on earthen ware so are smooth lips with a corrupt heart the one who hates disguises his words and keeps his treachery inside do not trust his sweet language for seven evils fill his heart but although he conceals his hatred like a hypocrite his evil will be revealed in the assembly he who digs a pit falls in it and the rock he rolls away falls back on him the liar hates his victims the flattering mouth brings destruction proverbs chapter 27 do not feel confident about tomorrow since you do not know how today will end let another praise you but not your own mouth a stranger but not your own lips heavy the stone and weighty the sand but the fool's anger outweighs both wrath is cruel and anger impulsive but who can withstand jealousy better an honest rebuke than false affection worthy of trust is the friend who speaks honestly The enemy is he who multiplies caresses. The full mouth looks down on honey. The hungry one finds any bitter thing sweet. Like a bird far from its nest, so is the one who wanders from his own place. Oil and perfume gladden the heart. So too does the sweetness of friendship comfort the soul. Never desert your friend or your father's friend. Do not hasten to your brother's house when troubles strike. Better a friend nearby than a brother far away. Learn to be wise, my son, and make me happy, so that I can reply to those who insult me. The discerning man foresees danger and takes cover but fools keep going to their own loss get rid of his clothes since he has gone surety for a stranger seize him for the benefit of those unknown if he at dawn blesses his neighbor in a loud voice it shall be interpreted as a curse the constant dripping of a gutter on a rainy day and a nagging woman have something in common Stopping her is like stopping the wind and grasping oil in one's hand. Iron is sharpened with iron. Contact with a neighbor sharpens a man's wit. He who tends the fig tree eats its fruit. He who looks after his master will be honored. As the face is reflected in water, so man finds himself in his own heart. death and hell are never satisfied so also the eyes of men a crucible for silver a furnace for gold 
you will know a man by his reputation even though you grind the fool in a mortar you will not rid him of his stupidity know well the state of your herd and tend to your flock because wealth does not last forever and riches are not handed down from generation to generation once the pasture is mowed and the aftergrowth appears and the hay is gathered in from the hills you should have lambs to clothe you and goats to pay for your fields sufficient goats milk to feed you to sustain your household and provide for your serving girls proverbs chapter 28 the wicked man runs away even when no one is after him but the virtuous man feels as safe as a lion a country for its sins has many rulers but with one wise ruler there is stability the evil doer oppressing the poor is like destructive floods which leave no food those who forsake the law applaud evil those faithful to the law fight evil the wicked have no understanding of justice but those who seek yahweh understand all better the poor but honest life than devious living with riches a clever man keeps the law while he who associates with scoundrels brings shame to his father he who adds to his wealth by usury and greed amasses it for another who has compassion on the poor if any one turns a deaf ear to the law even his prayer is contaminated by sin he who leads the virtuous astray will fall into his own trap the upright will inherit happiness the rich man thinks himself wise while the poor but sensible man knows how to show him up when the virtuous triumph there is great feasting but when the wicked dominate everybody hides whoever conceals his faults will not prosper but he who confesses and renounces them will be shown mercy happy the one who always lives in the fear of god he who hardens his heart will fall on disaster a roaring lion a hungry bear such is the bad leader of a poor people the ruler lacking intelligence multiplies oppression but he who abhors greed will endure the man wanted for murder will be on the run until death let him go he who goes away honestly will be saved he who vacillates between two ways will fall in one of them he who tends his land will have an abundance of bread while he who chases illusions will have his fill of misery the trustworthy man will be heaped with blessings but he who is preoccupied with getting rich will not be guiltless it is not good to show partiality but a man will do wrong for a mouthful of bread the greedy eyed man is on the lookout for wealth not knowing that misfortune will befall him he who reproves another will eventually enjoy more favor than the flatterer he who steals from his father and mother saying it is not a sin he is just like a criminal the greedy man brings about trouble but he who trusts in yahweh will be filled with good things he who trusts in himself is just like a fool while he who walks wisely will be saved he who gives to the poor will not be in need but he who turns a blind eye to them will have his fill of disgrace when the wicked triumph everybody hides but when they perish 
the virtuous multiply proverbs chapter 29 he who resists correction will be broken suddenly and without remedy when the virtuous rule the people are happy but they groan when the wicked are in power he who loves wisdom makes his father happy but whoever maintains prostitutes will lose his wealth through justice a king makes his country prosper but the extortioner brings it to ruin the one who flatters his neighbor lays a snare at his feet in the wicked man sins lays a snare for himself while the upright man runs on rejoicing the virtuous man is concerned about the problems of the poor the evil doer however understands nothing mockers create disturbances in the city but the wise turn troubles away when the wise man argues with the fool whether he is annoyed or joking he will get nowhere the violent hate the blameless man but the virtuous seek out his presence the fool gives free rein to his rage while the wise man restrains it when a ruler listens to false reports all his ministers will be scoundrels the poor man and usurer have something in common both receive the light of day from god the king who judges the poor with justice will affirm his throne forever both the stick and rebuke bring wisdom while the spoiled child brings shame to his mother when the wicked rule sin abounds but the virtuous shall witness their downfall correct your son and he will bring you rest you will be happy in him where prophets are lacking the people get out of hand happy is he who obeys the law a slave is not corrected by words even if he understands he will take no notice you see a man dying to speak there is more hope for a fool if you spoil your slave from childhood he will end up a rebel the hot tempered man provokes disputes his anger multiplies his sins a man's pride results in his humiliation but he who humbles himself will achieve honors he who shares with the thief harms himself even you who kept silent when you should have denounced him to be afraid of people is a trap but whoever trusts in yahweh will be safe many seek a ruler's favor but each one's fate comes from god the upright man detests the wicked and the evil doer hates the honest man proverbs chapter 30 the sayings of agur son of jake of masa he says my god my god i am worn out and weary too stupid to be human i am devoid of intelligence i have not acquired wisdom or grasped the knowledge of the holy one who has ascended the heavens and descended who has gathered the wind in his hands who has encircled the waters with his cloak who has established the limits of the earth what is his name or the name of his son do you know every word of god is true he is a shield in whom man can find refuge add nothing to his words lest he rebuke you and take you for a liar o god two things i beg of you do not deny me them before i die keep lying and falsehood far away from me give me neither poverty nor riches give me just as much food as i need lest satisfied i deny you and say who is yahweh or else out of necessity i steal 
and profane the name of my god do not accuse a slave to his master's face lest he curse you and you have to pay what a people are those who curse their father and do not bless their mother who consider themselves pure but their sins have not been cleansed they have a haughty look and disdainful eye their teeth are like daggers and their fangs like blades to devour the weak of the land and the poor of the people the leech has two daughters give me and give me there are three insatiable things and four which never say enough the grave the sterile womb the earth longing for water and the fire which never cries enough the eye which challenges a father and despises his aging mother will be gouged out by the ravens of the valley and devoured by the eagles there are three things which i cannot comprehend and four which i do not understand the way of the eagle through the sky the way of the snake on the rock the way of the ship on high seas and the way of the human being with the mother what can i say of the adulterous woman she eats and having wiped her mouth she says i have done nothing wrong three things make the earth tremble there are four which it cannot withstand the slave who becomes king the fool stuffed with bread the unbearable woman who marries and the maid who inherits from her mistress there are four tiny creatures on the earth that are among the wisest of the wise the ants that are without strength but in summer make sure of their supplies the rock rabbits that are without vigor but make their home in the rocks the locusts that have no king but move forward in organizing groups the lizard which can be caught by hand but lives in the palace of kings three things have a stately step and four have a noble bearing the lion the bravest of animals that retreats before nothing the cock that struts proudly among the hens the he goat that leads his flock and the king at the head of his army if you have been foolish enough to get angry and afterwards regret it cover your mouth with your hand since by churning the milk butter is produced by squeezing the nose blood flows and by stirring up anger arguments arise proverbs chapter 31 the sayings of lemuel king of masa taught him by his mother no my son son of my womb no no my most beloved son do not waste your strength on women or your life on those who destroy kings it is not for kings o lemuel not for kings to drink wine or for rulers to have strong drink lest in drinking they forget what they have decreed and to override the cause of the helpless give strong drink to the one about to die and wine to the heart full of bitterness so that he may drink and forget his misfortune and remember his pain no more speak on behalf of the dumb and defend the cause of all who are destitute open your mouth pronounce just sentences defend the needy and the poor the woman of character where is she to be found she is more precious than any jewel her husband has complete confidence in her she will be of great benefit to him she brings him only good and not evil all the days of her life she has obtained wool and flax and works them with skillful hands she is like the merchant ships which bring provisions from afar she gets up while it is still dark 
feeds her household and allots tasks to the servants if she sets her heart on a field she buys it and plants a vineyard with her own hands she is full of energy and her arms show her strength she knows her work is successful and at night her light remains unextinguished she puts her hand to the distaff and her fingers hold the spindle she reaches out her hand to the helpless and gives to the poor when snow comes she has no fear for her household since they are all doubly clothed she makes her own quilts and her clothes are purple and fine linen her husband is well respected he sits in council with the leaders of the people she weaves linen cloth and sells it she supplies the merchants with sashes she is strong and dignified and looks with confidence to the future she speaks wisely and her words are kind she keeps an eye on the conduct of her household and is never idle her sons rise up and call her blessed her husband sings her praises many women have done wonders but you surpass them all charm is deceptive and beauty useless the woman who is wise is the one to praise may she enjoy the fruits of her labor and may all praise her for her works